even on the most cloudy and rainy days. You can still see these flyers up around J.C. Park in Southeast Cape Coral. Flyers showing the face of 56-year-old Barry Schmalbach, put up by Barry's half-sister, Emily Scaletta, and friends. You hope that when you choose to go down there and when you're able to go down there, you find something. Last week, she came to Cape Coral from Chicago looking for him. Now she's back home, waiting. With limited information, it's it was hard leaving and still not knowing where Barry is. And Cape Coral police are also trying to figure out where he is. In fact, we believe that there is foul play in the disappearance of Mr. Schmalbach. In a news conference last week, Cape Coral Police Chief Anthony Sizemore said they have a person of interest, though not naming who. He says Schmalbach was last seen on July 19th and reported missing three days later. Police say his boyfriend, Christopher Davis, was the last person to see him. Cape Coral Police arrested Davis on August 1st for a South Carolina warrant not related to this case, a case so many people are now invested in. We want Barry home safe and sound. Trish Rout with Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, who has been a part of so many missing persons cases over the past 20 years, says the most challenging parts are... Time and the struggle is keeping this fresh on people's minds. Every day that passes, it, it's a li- it makes it a little bit more difficult. A worry for Emily, too. We don't want people to forget that he's missing. We're not going to forget about him. And his friends aren't forgetting him either. Still helping Barry out, even if he's still missing. On Friday, they started moving his things out of his apartment because of an eviction, a harsh reality Emily is trying to make light of. I joked with mom and I said, you know, like, hey, he's going to be really mad when he comes back and he doesn't have an apartment or any furniture anymore. So it's hard to imagine a family with very little information staying positive and hopeful. But Emily says you just have to be hopeful in this case. Hope that these flyers will lead to her big brother. We don't want him to be forgotten. Reporting in Cape Coral, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.